This is the tray fluoride procedures. Refer to your clinic manual for the exact directions. We will not be using the product inside our patient's mouth to avoid contamination at this time, but this should give you an idea of the proper procedures. You will first give the patient several paper towels and you will stay attentive to the patient and never leave the patient throughout the fluoride procedure. You will have already had an emesis basin that you placed on the countertop that is out for any type of fluoride procedure. We will not have the actual bottles of fluoride out during your procedure. This is just out so that you can see the different variety of product. We have neutral product that is for any type of tooth colored restoration or sealant. And then we have the APF, which would be for any teeth that do not have any type of filling or that has gold or amalgam fillings. So anything that is oh. not tooth color. You will instruct the patient not to swallow the fluoride. Raise the patient chair so that the patient's mouth is level with the clinician's elbow. Seat the patient in an upright position with head tilted forward slightly throughout the procedure. Dry the teeth by placing a saliva ejector in the mouth while using the air syringe to dry the maxillary teeth first and then the mandibular. We will not be creating aerosols, so we will not be actually doing this step. This is just to remind you, you would blow the air maxillary first and then mandibular with a saliva ejector in. And then you will instruct the patient to remain open so that there is not dilution of the fluoride. If they close, you must start over with drying the teeth, maxillary first and then mandibular. You will insert the fluoride trays into the patient's mouth and then place the saliva ejector between the fluoride trays throughout the procedure. Again, we do not have product in here, but this is showing how to place inside the mouth. The U is gonna be for the upper. So you're gonna squish it, squeeze it, kind of put it in, have her tap down for me, and then I'm gonna bring her lips around. And then I'm gonna place the saliva ejector inside like so. And the saliva ejector would be turned on. And then they would stay this way for four minutes. You again will not leave the patient. You will use a timer. And at the conclusion of the four minutes, we will pretend that we are at that time. Then you will remove fluoride any excess fluoride, remove the trays, notice the paper towel because they will be dripping, and then you would use your saliva ejector to help evacuate any excess fluoride and saliva. Then you will verbally inform the patient of the home care instructions of do not rinse, eat, drink, brush, floss, or use tobacco products if that's applicable for that patient for at least 30 minutes, and you will give them a printed copy of the home care instructions following topical fluoride placement, which is this blue sheet here. Now we're going to demonstrate the amount of fluoride that would be placed in the tray. This would typically be done by dispensary rotation if we were in clinic. So just kind of think of a spaghetti noodle and that's about how much you'll want inside. It's hard to see because it's clear, but that would be your placement of fluoride for a tray. And this concludes the tray procedures.